Namaste students. Welcome to RH Chemistry. In this Comet K 2020 PYQ series, which means previous year questions series, so I am going to discuss about general organic chemistry and haloalkanes and halorines. Most of you are asking the doubt in your WhatsApp also and in uh, uh, this comment box also remember what should be the syllabus of this Comet K. I will tell you, syllabus, syllabus of Comet K and C it is almost same, 100% same. All Class 11 and class 12 syllabus you have for Comet K. But in some uh, website if you check they have given some misconception uh, that is fake news they have given only some chapters are there for Comet K. It is not true. So for that you have to go for Comet K official website there if you check the syllabus they will tell you clearly class 11 and class 12. Hence, I am going to tell you and I will show you also. Already I have finished almost is the fourth chapter, fourth session. I have already finished the sixth chapter on all those remember previous year questions I have seen. So hence, don't believe those. You have to ready for class 11 and class 12, the whole syllabus. Yes, in today's general organic chemistry and haloalkanes, halorins we will discuss. See, when 2 bromopentane is heated, well, a very simple question they will ask you, just like a KCET level, KCET level, remember. So if you prepare for this, definitely KCET, if you are prepared seriously, then KMIDK will be very easy for you. So when 2 bromopentane is heated with alcoholic potash, see alcoholic potash is what? Dehydrohalogenating agent, dehydrohalogenation agent, right? So, hence remember in this particular case, 2 bromopentane. 2 bromopentane is like this, only skeletal structure I will write 2 bromopentane. When it undergo alcoholic KOH, according to Sedgeff's rule, remember double bond present here. Because according to Sedgeff's rule, double bond should be present for that, or you can say highly substituted alkene is the product. So, hence the product you are going to get is remember like this second position double bond. Hence, pent to in is the answer in this particular case. See, if you have already solved some uh, KCET question on this, it will be very simple for you. No doubt in it. Now, reaction CSCS to IKOH, aqueous it is not alcoholic. Alcoholic is dehydrogenation, aqueous C2H4H plus KI. It is classified as C. KOH, remember here you are going to get OH minus as a nucleophile. Nucleophile will substitute iodine from here to form OH. Hence, the answer should be nucleophilic substitution reaction. Then, third one. Major product formed when alkyl iodide treated with excess of NS3. Alkyl iodide, I will take Ri, reacts with NH3. What you are going to get? Ri plus NS3. Remember, here from H and here from I will form HI. You are going to get RNH2. See, further reaction does not take place here because here we have taken NH3 excess. If the same question is given Ri plus NH3, Ri is excess. Then you will get further substitution of H from here. You are end up with quaternary ammonium salt. But when I have taken excess of NH3 here, this product is the end. Further reaction with NH3 not possible. And it will never react with Ri because you have taken NS3 excess. So answer should be primary amine. This is what? Primary amine. Major product formed when chlorobenzene nitrated with HNO3 and concentrated HTSO4 is nitration of chlorobenzene. So nitration of chlorobenzene. Remember chlorobenzene exhibit minus I effect also and in this case plus R effect also. And you are going to get the compound as nitration. Nitration means remember NO2 plus is the electrophile and this is ortho and para director. Pa ortho and para director. Hence you are going to get the product as Cl and NO2 plus Cl NO2. Ortho nitro para nitro which is more stable or more major. Major product should be para because here there will be the steric hindrance, hence this product is less percentage and this is more. So hence the answer for this is 1 chloro 4 nitro benzene. 1 chloro 4 nitro benzene is the answer. Fifth one. <clears throat> Many a time in Kiamit I have seen such type of question on Woods reaction. Now, 
you can see bromoethane and isopropyl chloride i i hope it is visible for you right bromoethane and isopropyl chloride with sodium metal in the dry ether so sodium metal in the dry ether they are asking correct so in this particular case remember so i will write first bromoethane right so bromoethane i will i am going to write so in this particular case bromoethane if you write so c2h5br reacts with isopropyl chloride structure is what isopropyl chloride structure is like this cl here right cl here and ch3 isopropyl it is h here and ch3 here this is isopropyl chloride now this when it reacts remember these two will be removed as nabr and nacl product formed is remember ch c2h5 i'll write it like this ch3 ch2 ch this ch3 here and this ch3 here right now you can see if you name this 1 2 3 4 2 methyl butane is the answer so the answer for this question is b correct huh? so now one chlorobutane and two chloropropane treated with metallic sodium in dry ether one chlorobutane is like this remember one chlorobutane i will write it like this ch 2 cl one chlorobutane so c c c i will i am writing here only the skeletal structure this you can not see okay yes here you can see one chlorobutane and two chloropropane one chlorobutane i have written like this yes thank god current came finally yes one chlorobutane and two chloropropane when it treated with metallic sodium in dry ether one chloropropane i have written plus two chloropropane i will write it like this once again chlorine sorry chlorine here chlorine two chloropropane so ch3 ch ch3 two chloropropane it is now this is cl and this cl is removed now you join so 1 2 3 4 for this carbon i will join and ch3 here and ch3 here right now you name this number is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexane right 2 methyl hexane so 2 methyl hexane is the answer in this case very simple 2 methyl hexane like that yes which one of the following is bifunctional compound very important very simple one bifunctional compound they are asking see we will tell that formic acid means remember hcooh hcooh acetic acid means ch3cooh benzoic acid means c6h5cooh and cinamic acid see out of these two generally cinamic acid structure you will not come to know you will not if you don't know then definitely will select this as answer but that is wrong i will tell you cinamic acid is like this remember c6h5 ch double bond ch cooh is the structure so this is cinamic acid now two functional group they are asking right bifunctional means two functional see this is only one cooh this is also only one cooh this is also cooh this is also cooh then what is the answer so remember this is the answer because this is carbonyl group c double bond o is what carbonyl group and c double bond o oh is what carboxylic group hence the answer for this question is formic acid very interesting question it is such question when they ask remember very very important so such question when they ask you have to be very careful so like this it is right now which of the following is not a bifunctional compound they are asking which of the following is not a bifunctional compound see which is not a bifunctional compound here see formic acid is bifunctional we have seen just now salicylic acid is bifunctional because here oh and cooh two groups are there salicylic acid aspartic acid is amino acid amino acid remember amino acid always will have nh2 as well as cooh then definitely two functional group protonic acid is what protonic acid is like this remember ch3 ch double bond ch cooh is the protonic acid so protonic acid only one cooh group is there hence which is not a bifunctional that is protonic acid is the answer then plus i effect is exhibited by plus i effect remember exhibited by alkyl group always exhibit plus i effect to this is aryl group it is minus i remember it is plus i so c2h5 should be the answer and cl and no2 it is always plus i effect minus i effect remember only this one is plus i effect 
I paste the name of the following. I paste the name. Remember, numbering this one, two, three, three here or that three. So now two methyl, two methyl. Remember, propionic acid is the answer. So the answer for this question is B. So these are the ten question under. So because of the time being, I have very less time. So I have taken only ten question of a uh, different which is asked in the uh, previous year papers. So go through this and also read some more questions on the same. This these only these are the questions are not enough definitely. Solve some more question and prepare for your exam. All the best. Thank you. Have a nice day.